So, do they have any pillows that are the size of a body pillow, if you will? Bro, I think Dreambird's ignoring you. Oh, god damn it! Come on, I just want to know if there's somebody the size of, you know, somebody like me. To make her a good cuddle partner. Mario, come on, man. Do you really want to cuddle one of these pillows that bad? I mean, it might feel really nice. I don't know. I mean, still. Oh, god. All right. That was simple enough. I'm not going to go out of my way to hit all of you. I'm just going to dodge whatever one looked easy for me there. <laughs> I'm not trying to make myself look like a fool now. I want to hit this dodge can easily, goddammit. I want to make sure I do it right for once. I'm getting stronger! Die! Oh, God! Help! Help! Make sure you pay attention to the speed of that so you know how to properly dodge that one. Oh, yeah. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Mario and Luigi Dream Team. This is your host, the MJ406. And, well, we are climbing up Mount Pajama Jaw. Oh, get away from me! I'm getting stronger! Oh, God damn it! he left already. What a dick. And, uh, yeah. We are now trying to rescue this, uh, Mega Pilo. Because, apparently, they have Pilos that are just absolutely massive. Jeez. You think they would be, like, the royalty or something, or, like, the true rulers. They're huge! Unless size doesn't matter, one of those things is, like, intelligence are the ones that determine how mighty they are instead of their strength. I think strength is everything, as you normally would, Mario. Oh, right! I think it's also the more of them that are left, the faster the dumbbell is thrown. That's probably more what it is, rather than, well... The speed can vary. I think it's variable based on how many are left. Yes. That would make more sense. At least these guys are easy to figure out, thankfully. I forgot the charging attack, but hey, at least it wasn't hard to dodge. Okay, so let's see. No nightmare chunks in this area. Well, that's disappointing. They never make it easy. Oh, the Mega Pillow doesn't have like a mega sized room. Oh no, they're all together? Wow, they're really all grouped as one. Or two of them are, anyway. No, it's all three of them. Yes, it is. All right, then. Ooh, look at that. I feel the Ouija aura in this place. Here we go again. Time to bring the stack back once more. Green power. What the hell? Yeah, it came out a new move that we were all talking about. Yeah, dude, hurry up and tell him. Right, as well pull your finger. Damn it, how did he know? It's not it. It's not that one. Oh, okay, it's a different one. Okay, they told me to do something like... Whoa, you can change into other shapes, too? Apparently. Ooh, that's right. Luigi can form into a cone. Ah, you can change shapes to the R button. Can you move around using the circle pad? Yeah, I don't suppose. Oh, God! This one's a little harder to balance, but it, it still works. Okay. Uh-oh. Yes, I is pretty far away. We don't have a spin jump in the dream world, so... Hang on! We can still spin, that's why we created this shape. Oh yeah, I guess it was work world the air, doesn't it? Yep! I already told them about it. Oh great, we'll have to get dizzy. I have motion sickness, so do I! I have epilepsy! Oh god, they're all terrible, aren't they? Yes? Have you found enlightenment? Whoa! Yahoo! I can spin them all! You can hover? How far do you think you can float? Well, there's one way to find out. Die! How dare you insinuate that we will die? You can keep pressing B to also keep yourself propelled longer in the air, by the way. Dreamy! Which I think will probably tell us about this one because how long it is. This one's even further than the first one. Hmm, can you spin again in mid-air to extend your jump? And there it is! It looks tough, but it must be done. I don't know if you can do it just once or you can keep doing it. Let's try it out. Yeah, you keep doing it. You like keep yourself in midair almost indefinitely. Well done. Press the B button to hover even farther. Light is a feather. Now that's a hover spin. Damn right. We got the hover spin. Press the B button in code form to use it. Press the B button again in midair to extend the hover. Remember, press the R button to change shapes. To return to normal, press the L button and then the B button. 
Oh, right, that. Okay. Still press R to change your shapes. So you can go from stack to cone to collapse. I feel like there's another one later. I mean, yeah, there definitely is. This is boring. I like Luigi's head also twirls when you do this. There's really nice little attention to detail like that. Maybe you do appreciate this game for what it is. And you can have Mario jump after every hover to try to get him to, uh, well, jump up to collect some things. And well, now we did that. We can now do this. And punch all of those nightmare chunks. We have rescued our mighty Pilo. He doesn't look very big. Oh, just you wait, Mario, when you get out. Don't don't forget what's already out there. <laughs> it's a gigantic pillow, man. You don't want to mess with it. It might suffocate you. Oh, God. I'd rather not have that. You sure you want to call with it now? Eh, I might have to reconsider now. Of course you do. Oh, wow, that was actually a pretty good nap. So, and, whoa! Damn, yeah, he is big. Oh, I'm back. Thanks for the rescue. Yeah, thanks and wait, friend. We need your help. Good three birds. Your majesty, it is an honor. How do you open that mighty gate? Oh, look, sir. Open that mighty gate is my job. What? Your job? Are you serious? I am, sir. Don't you know your own subjects? Shit. But, uh, I can't open it by myself. It takes two mega pillows to open it. Damn it! Another mega pillow! All right, that must be the other big guy we saw. I sense you are correct. Oh, you can sense it, can you? Little Wonder Pounders, you follow slow. I thought you fall down mountain. You must beef up. You must follow. If you are getting lost, follow beef! I should probably make some burgers while we're up here. Large bro, your muscles, they are ripped ham. Small bro, you are cut like stony bologna. That's baloney, brother. Shut up, I know how to read. Do they? <laughs> uh, let's go revive that other Mega Pila. Yes, let's do that. Time to hover over. Oh, come on! It's not going to be that easy, Mario. Man, what a rip. All right, then. Let's go the other way. Now we revive the Mega Pila. Let's us go. Now we can hover. We can actually do this. I don't know why I want to keep going back yet. I should probably just keep going forward for the time being. So, well, remember your spin jump and just try to make your way over. Well, now we can probably explore the rest of the mountain. Ah, it's you, fool. Fool. Time to keep working on the dodge can like I always do. Oh, God. There's three of these guys. Oh, jeez. Well, I know how to get through all of them, so I should be all right. I'll try to do what I can to get the dodge can quickly. Besides, it's going to take a while to kill all of them anyway, so... Maybe I'll do what I can while I can. Try not to take too long in these battles, but don't try to... But definitely don't... Get rid of some opportunities to get these attacks in. And there we go. Oh, I'm glad it didn't hit me. Well, I'm glad that worked. So you see, if you wait a while, you can see that it slows down. But like I said, if you wait too long, the stack will hit you. So just wait till you can read the opportunity. You have a little bit on that last one that I did. So, you know, just don't put yourself in a dangerous situation. I think you need to have at least three rocks to be able to do that, though. Or you can prove me, prove me wrong immediately. Oh, yeah, they'll come back and crash on their head instead of yours. Right, that too. Man, that attack is vicious. Good. If I can get rid of the dodge head challenge before I even deal with the tough ones with these guys, I'll be in good shape. I mean, that's what I gotta do. I have to get beef. I must get beefier and beefier as I climb this mountain. How easy is it to actually get beefier, I wonder? And there we go. Oh, man. I gotta be close to get a dodge head. Just get rid of the flibby. I don't want to take my chances with it. I think I see both the attacks it has. Seems like most enemies, most standard enemies, only have like two different kinds of attacks. 
So, you know, they already know what to deal with, thankfully. Which, you know, makes us a cakewalk. And you're dead! Oh, my head! So close. Probably one more. But... Huh. I'm on fire. I set his rock on fire! <laughs> I don't think that's how that's supposed to burn him. Hey, just go with it, will you? I set his rock on fire, not him. I don't think that's how that works. I think mean, you burn his rock pile. It's gonna get him eventually. But it's burning the rock on the top of him, not himself. It shouldn't hurt. Eh, shows that you know. Apparently, I don't know shit. For first-time climbers, remember the air is thinner at higher elevations. If you start to feel lightheaded, get some oxygen and take a rest. If the oxygen stations malfunction, please let an administrator know. Where are their administrators on these mountains? Probably at the top, instead of a bitch. Good, we are being together. For next challenge, you ride rising air. You are using spin jump here. What with eyes. Yep, just like the other games. Rising beef! You spin jump with the tornadoes to go even higher or fly further. You spin jump to ride on blowing air. You are flying more, highly than usual. You are climbing mountain this way. We went ahead. Come, Salmon Puffs. Do not call me Salmon. I will kill you if you ever refer to me as Salmon again. Dude, it's just Salmon. It's good for you. Eh, nah, nah, nah. Jeez, you're not a fan of Salmon, are you? I prefer my lasagna. And actually, I've been getting into that Puntanesca. Oh, wow, you actually took that Stargate's advice to heart. Yeah, it's actually pretty good stuff. I'm gonna eat more of it when I get back home. Well, I think the point is to still not overeat on it. What do you know? You haven't even eaten Puntanesca. You don't know what I've eaten. Not Puntanesca. All right, well, screw you, first of all. And second of all, I think you're right. Oh, wow, I was kidding. God damn it. Still, you should probably watch your eating habits more before you grow fat. Don't say it. Fat. You fucker. Oh, you can do anything about it, other than lose weight. Ooh, you got a death wish, buddy. You have a death wish. Yeah, you'll live. Anyway, let's go to the dream world. We have a lift pillow now. Finally, a pillow that actually do something other than just be there and mock us. If you're like. Oh, man, that was a rough time. All right, I'm out of here. It's like, wait, at least a thank you? No, nothing? Fine, fuck you, then. Oh, it's another one of these ones I can't do anything with because he's goddamn faster in the way. God damn it. What the hell? Oh, it's this room, I think. What the hell is going to happen? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so what I have to... Oh, okay. I have to try to guide the... Okay, I have to guide it there. All right. All right, then. Uh... Oh, crap. Ah, I don't want to hit those either. Okay. All right, so don't let it hit the feet of those guys. All right, so don't let it hit where they're standing. And try to get the light to reach the golden uh, dumbbell. All right, neat. Weird, but neat. Okay. Oh, God, no. No, I blew it again. Get out of here, stupid light. Jeez, why do they hate the light so much? I guess they embrace the darkness. As most villains do. Okay, then. Looks like we got another one of these ridiculous frickin', uh... What's it called? Amino Lottery puzzles. Frickin' Amino Lottery. I'm always a pain in the ass, these things. Okay, I know what I want to do now. All right. Oh, God, no! I blew it again. Jesus! Well, at least I got 50 coins. Neat. So whatever prize I hit, I at least get. It doesn't cost money to do this, so I can just keep doing it. Ah, okay. 
I guess I keep going until I get all the prizes. Well then, let's go for prizes. Oh, never mind. They just bring whatever prize back. If I didn't get it, okay. Okay, I know what I want to do. I got this. Finally, that dumbbell is mine. I say, I doubt they would punch above. That would just be bullcrap. And there we go! I have earned it! The golden dumbbell! Arrgh! Jeez, I never thought the rock would get so angry. Huh, what that means? Like, yep, I lifted the other ones too. So the other pillows associated with those, now I can actually rescue them too. Uh huh. So there are four other pillows that were affected by this challenge. Oh, I can still do it again if I won. What happens if I hit the enemy out of curiosity? I really want to see. Watch, they bring the gold dumbbell back, and if I miss it, then I do this all over again. Two enemies. All right, 50% chance. Okay, let's see where this goes. You know what? That works perfectly fine. All right, let's just watch it ride. I imagine we have an enemy encounter if I let it do this. But, yep. So, you see how this works. You basically get this light to ride along. It goes at every turn it can possibly hit. Because, of course, it does. That's how the amateur lottery thing works. Japan loves those things. Oh, my God! And there you go. Just get it to follow whatever prize you want. Get the golden dumbbell to move on. Or rescue a lot of the other kilos. This one might be required, but I don't know for sure. Alright, bring it on, you muscly bastards! Oh, God. Alright, I'll do this one, then. Ow! Oh! oh, cool, you can turn him around. That's pretty cool. Yeah, go ahead, I'll let you guys do whatever you want to do. I'm not going to interrupt you guys that hard. I want you guys to at least be able to flex yourselves. Have some fun, you know? So, who's ready to flex? I've got muscles for days to flex. Oh, God, this might be fast. Get out of here! Oh! Bums. Wow, a lot of them died from that, too. Sweet. In that case, die some more! Die! Yes! Victims! Oh, they ran away, cowards. Oh, wow, so they need a good bit of them. Then again, they need a lot of them so they can actually lift the... They probably need at least five. Okay, yes, yeah, so automatic battle. Got it. Well, that. Whoops. Now we can actually get through all these pillows that are wandering, that are stuck here like this. I haven't seen a lift pillow in a while. I was waiting to find one that would actually help me by launching me up or something, but no. Most of them are just gone from this world. Dead? No, they're just not around. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Make your point clearer. All right, well, at least I can rescue some of the extra pillows now. Good. Ah! Oh, jeez. I hate to have a lottery. It is getting kind of old, I'm not gonna lie. I'm back to normal, thanks a bunch, guys. If you need my help, I'll be right here. Then give me help. I need your help. There we go. Now I can actually jump here again. Whew. Wow, it feels like we have to be up here, but I don't think we do. Let me see. Here lies a hero of buffness, Muscle Lord Polarp. Polarp was the most celebrated of all athletes who participated in the Ultra Pump Games. He lifted his body up with such force that onlookers feared it would crack the firmament. He thrust it downward with such enthusiasm that he threatened to breach the Earth's mantle. And yet, his lone failure came on the parallel bars, where the double glute spin eluded him all his life. Oh, you could do the poor, the double glute spin. What's a weak pitch? Silver statue. Ooh. I wonder what that does. I'm feeling it's nothing spectacular, but we'll check anyway. So let's see. We have the silver statue. Well, I get any real purpose, but can be sold at shop for a good price. Uh, it does up a lot of the periphery stats, though. Eh. Worth considering at the very least. I will probably sell it, though, because it's pretty weak in regards to accessories. But hey, at least it's nice to have the option if you want to buff up all your little periphery stats. Which, you know, never a bad thing. 
Although I prefer gear that ups everything, because of course I do. God, what? This way! Jesus, they got high! As fuck! Man, where can I get a hit of that? Alright. Time to get to that Dodge 10, officially. Let's go! Oh, good thing I jumped. Hey, there it is! Wow, that would have been the one to do me in, too. Oh, that would have pissed me off. Hmm. I thought the one version of that enemy kind of had the, uh... I thought the previous version of that enemy would at least do one spin if it didn't do that thing with its eyes, but... I took a gamble and it paid off. I would have been fine if I ga gambled wrong, though. It wasn't really that risky a gamble, thankfully. Go ahead, make your next move. Two spins. All right. At least he's easy to deal with. Sweet baby Jesus. Ugh. Also, I should heal now. Luigi definitely needs it. Oh, thank goodness. I felt like I was on death's door with that one. He's got another heal when I have the opportunity. Oh, man, I thought I would have killed him. Oh, well. This stupid flimpy doesn't know what it's going to mess with. Get down there here. Oh man, if only that killed you too. That would've been very sweet. Nice combo finisher. I don't get good combo finishers. Another taunt ball. Where are those background enemies coming? Birthday boots. I mean, yeah, you know what they do, just like the birthday hammer. Of a multiplier increase if it's on your birthday. Which it's not for me, so it's not that worthwhile, but may as well take a gander just in case. Yeah, they're not as strong as what I have for any of them, so. Well, <laughs> Luigi's the birthday boy. <laughs> that poor, poor little birthday boy. With nobody coming to his party. Hey, maybe I'll come to my birthday party. That's what you think, brother. Little did you know those are people I hired. That would be very mean if that's actually what you did. Please, brother, I wouldn't even waste money hiring people to come to your birthday party. That's how little I care. Dude, at least celebrate with like two! We eat plenty of shrooms on both of our birthdays. Don't we both share the same birthday? Not important! Heh. <laughs> Mario, you're a dick. You keep saying this, but you have no proof. I guess not. Man, mountain climbing. I'm not really a big fan of mountains. I think you've been over this before. Yeah, I think I have been. Give me Ori and the Blind Forest ba flashbacks when I was running away from freaking Kuro and trying to survive all the goddamn rocks and Kuro. Yeah, he's just an indie character anyway. Are you not upset the indie scene? What? Why not? Not like they make better games than mine. That's just your opinion, Mario. Hey, yeah, believe what you want. Nothing will ever be as good as Super Mario Sunshine. Wait, what? You think that's your... I'm kidding! Jesus Christ. God, if you actually thought that was your best, we were going to have problems. Oh, I didn't actually want to come up this way, but... Oh, God! Why are you going down? Why are you going down? You asshole! I wanted to go over that side to get the other item blocks. Okay, so over to the right is the proper way to go. I wanted to get items. So after a while, he'll fall super quickly, so... Heads up for you on that one. And when you stop spinning like that, you can't go into another tornado. So, yeah. Make sure you land in the tornado like you want. It's the proper way to do things. There we go. And we made it to a pilo. But I want to get everything around here, too. Oh, there's a camera block there, too. All right, we'll get that later. Oh, whoops. I kind of messed that up, but that's fine. It worked out in the end. All right, I imagine this is one of the really quick pillows, so let's do this one real fast. And then we'll go meet up with the Massive Brothers. Woohoo! And we'll see what they want us to do next.
If only they had more abilities for us to master, but I doubt they do. Because they only think about beef. Yeah, you think they would think about chicken or something. Or poultry, you know? Eh, poultry's overrated. What about turkey? Turkey's very overrated. It just happens to be one of the best meats for you. Yeah, that's what they all say. Oh, cool. Ow! Oh, I ran into the fist. My bad. I did not notice that there. <laughs> God damn it. Do not land in the fist. Oh. Oh, I was having to time it poorly. It punched me. Oh, God. Do not get punched by that thing. All right, so you gotta watch out for fists that may punch you out of your spin, too. Yeah. There we go. So, watch out for background elements like that, because they may knock you out of your funk if you're trying to do some stacked moves. That was rude of them. <laughs> All right, somebody's gonna go to the dream using this pillow and try to wake him up from this nightmare. Let me come with these traps to punch them so they can't ascend. Goddamn pillows are the worst sometimes. Them and their oppressive need to keep people down, keep them asleep, and all that. You free me. Thank you. Leave me alone. Will do. Believe me, they didn't have to ask. Oh, man. Timing was poor. There we go. Upward we go. Sweet. We made it up. Are those two still higher up? What the hell is that? Is that a floating dumbbell? That is a floating dumbbell. What the hell? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Just watch where they react and try to smack them when they say they're going to come down on you. Damn grumbells. All right. There we go. Hopefully we should easily have this no hitter challenge on the grumbells. Yes! Damn straight. Wow. Why do I remember that attack so well? Lucky break. That's another level up for Mario. What's the next rank up we're getting? Probably not till level 24. Son of a bitch. Yeah, it looks like they're doing every eight levels instead of every six like they did last game. Damn shame. Makes it a little annoying if you ask me. Hey, BP is ready for an upgrade. Yep, and only BP from the looks of it. All right. Probably only BP. Still, you can use it. I like to have extra brothers attacks at this point. Still not over the staff boost, though. I don't need that many extra brothers attacks. At least as far as I can tell. Damn, I can't climb that. Those stairs are intense. What kind of powerful strides do you need to get up those stairs? That requires both of you working together, probably. It's best part of the tour. Time to test courage! On Cliff! Oh, God. Are you insane? I don't want to do that. How is it, Dodge Bro? You have fear sweat? But if inner beef is strong, it's no problem. Da, Dodge Bro. Da, Small Bro. Small Bro will show true muscle now. Tender cutlets, watch with eyes. Uh, is right of Large Bro to take glories for his punch, huh? Da, or maybe come and jump and we scrap like, to bag like bacon wrap? Large Bro likes beef. Large Bro is side salad. SIDE SALAD! How dare you. I show you, side salad! Cut it, beef! Damn, he actually did it! Whoa. Large Bro! He actually did it. Well, you may as well join them. Oh, God. Come on, let's see your amazing jumping talents. No! We're going to die! We can still move, but why? I don't see anything here. Except a mountain! Don't hit the mountain! Ow! God! Oh! You survive! You are having big muscle! But you are having... Are you having brain muscle to escape? Yes! We give you hit! Look at Val! Val can be turned like grill meat! Is all of hit! Flex brain now! Body and brain, both must be beef. If you do not solve, we leave you. Duh. But you do solve. Massive Brothers know it. Large bro, my legs have large pain. Shh. Salty tears tenderize true beef. I prefer garlic to tenderize my beef, but you do you. 
There we go! Now we've unlocked all these air cards. Yes! Yes! Oh, God! It is delicious! Oh, right, I have to leave this way. What am I doing? There we go! Now all these air cards are open, so we can really go everywhere now! I guess this leads to the next massive pillow. Pillow, excuse me. Oh, crap! I should have ended this episode, right? Alright, let's get to the massive pillow and end it, then. As long as there's not another enemy in my wake, of course. There is not! Alright, good. In that case, we are near the massive pillow. And, well, make it easier to climb up to him. Oh, look at that! Beautiful! Oh, I didn't actually want to come here yet. Oh, massive brothers are off again! Whatever! That's the second mega pillow. We can open that gate, we save this pillow. Mario, Luigi, do your best. Yep, sure thing. I'll just be here. Of course you will. In I go! Wow, yeah, the game does struggle to handle that. My god. <laughs> Believe me, that's not a that's not a lag on the capture front. That's the game, man. Like I said, this is the first of the Mario Luigi games' this engine, so. Yeah, it lags like a bitch sometimes. Not really during the gameplay for the most part, though. More so just during cutscene stuff like that. Handles well enough, though. Alright, well, end this episode here! Another long one. God damn, I'm trying to stop those. Alright, so, we're about to save the second mega pillow. And we have to learn the true advantage of using this uh, spin jump move. Come back next time, and we will be able to make our way further up Mount Pajama Jaw. Maybe I should try to go further back to see if I can find some extra stuff I didn't get. Like the pillows I left behind that I couldn't get because of those goddamn fists I finally moved out of the way. Damn lift pillow hiding all that crap from me. Also, I can do his little animal lottery dumbbell challenge. What a jerk. 